Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our episode of Blue Milo Insight. This one is for the program Initiative Blue Operation Group Office. So, for today's program, I'm happy to ask for welcome Honorable Leader of Opposition, Honorable Mati Wale. Welcome to the program. We follow Honorable Leader by a story a little bit about him, the recent SIBC saga where you may, you may, you may hear him and you may look in the media that uh, PM him, Prime Minister and Cabinet him, omit him SIBC as an SOE. So, Leader, welcome to the program. Thank uh, you. I think just for uh, starting off program, um, Think thing blow you no more, I mean, like for him. Uh, recent uh, action where Prime Minister and Cabinet him taken for omitting SIBC as an SOE. Well, firstly, this one is part of a wrong decision threat. I mean, uh, evidence of poor governance, um, SIBC has long been voice blow nation, where every island blow you me, or most of the islands, survey receive him. Uh, it is our national public broadcaster. Um, and so, Hemi, how people throughout the country okay, engage in governance, blue country, blue you me. And governance, blue country, blue you me, Hemi no minim government seleven no more, where Prime Minister head him. But Hemi minim government, Hemi minim parliament, Hemi minim opposition, Hemi minim judiciary, Hemi minim. Uh, civil society, community leaders, everyone, survey RM views, all of those views together make what we are as a nation. Now, if Prime Minister him fright him some of our views, that is no basis for him closing down SIBC or for him take control of SIBC or for directing SIBC for no publishing of the views here. Yeah? Because every view is here together now and make him one and we are as a country. Um, otherwise, SIBC is reduced to just being an organ of the government, a propaganda machine or arm or tool of prime minister and government, no one. Now, Hemi, time him to talk to parliament, him answer him question, blow me lo this matter. Hemi cite him now, Section 24, Law SIBC Act. For say that this whole section, he may empower him as minister responsible for survey direct him SIBC um, and then him report to parliament lo next sitting. Next sitting, he mean him next day where parliament sit here, but so far, since I got give him direction to SIBC, no any report come to parliament. So I'm breaching this whole section here. Yeah. I note also him direct him SIBC verbally, nothing in writing. Now, Provision or section 24 him allow him for doing verbal direction, but then within a certain amount of times, we forget whether 24 hours or 48 hours, two days, him must give him or writing. So I am interested to know what now written directions here, um, where he may give him as minister responsible, go law, um, SIBC. Now, SIBC mandate blame as a public broadcaster is to inform, to entertain um, the nation here. Yeah. So, in that mandate, him must, SIBC must always uphold him what is in the public interest. Him cannot do in private interests no more. Um, all those, you know, because him must survive commercially, him must advertise. And so, private interest, business, advertise individual service, service message, and all kinds of things. Yeah? They're all important to our society, our country, and economy. Uh, but number one mandate of SIBC is to inform and entertain nationally. And therefore, he must work in the public interest. And the public interest is not necessarily all the time government interest either. You miss our government, blow you me, I'm got political interests. And sometimes acting on those political interests or in those political interests, uh, he may act against the national interest. And I think in this particular decision, uh, Ting Ting Blomi, is that clearly the Prime Minister and Government Blohem all get to act against the national interest here. Hemi cite him um, 
Je me suis dit que je folder dans le Parlement, je me suis dit que 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 je me suis negatively affect the unity block country. Uh, I would be very interested to see what evidence them to talk about them. Mm. Okay, to what views or what thing thing now is I busy put them out now, have me affect them unity or have me cause him disunity. Me uh, listen to SIBC every day too yeah. Me not think SIBC uh, is really that uh, Cowboy style. SIBC editorial policy has, for many, many years, start can look at all man before it, been very, very conservative. Um, and as I know it, by okay, the talem lo news, ting ting lo on for man, then tomorrow, nar man we am affected, come for straight them ting ting here, and all same. Sometimes him no much good, but him nothing to the extent we am affect him unity, blood this whole country. So I think these are just excuses. Uh, but Prime Minister need to outline him clearly what now or with something will affect him disunity. Yeah. Um, of course, as leader of opposition, me but of a concern. Concern blow me is I have a, a mandate, a constitutional mandate, to keep an eye on the government and to speak out when I see government making decisions also in this one where I'm wrong or I'm not the best uh, outcomes. Uh, and to inform the nation of one emi look him and one emi thing him. Now that uh, Prime Minister, now by Editor-in-Chief of SIBC, him now by determining what news now without him, him, obviously, by him not let him want him to him for come out here. Yeah. So him affect him right below me as leader of opposition, right below me as a member of parliament, uh, and as a national leader. Uh, and to that degree, him also affect him right below nation too, to hear him not a side of view, low politics, um, and him be big something. The political rights of citizens of this whole country are affected by this uh, suppression uh, of uh, freedom of editorial policy uh, to be independent and professionally managed. Uh, thinking below me, this whole provision where Hemi is him, law section 24 of SIBC Act, Hemi truly Hemi anticipate him there may be some national security issues where Prime Minister Hemi will, would be within his rights and would be proper for him to say, oh, you all cannot talk about him this matter yet, by him affecting national security, believe me. But I doubt very much that all the reasons him use him here would qualify under national security um, for, so that him have use him Section 24 long SIBC Act as basis for him to now take over him editorial policy. Me say take over him because once he me say me will not screen him something before come out the news. Oh my, you take over my SBC now. Co function blow him now in news here for informing people. Um, and once him take over SBC, him lose him independence blow him, and become also me tell him first time a propaganda arm. Now this is a prime minister and a government that I think most low country no respect him and no trust him now. Uh, you know, any kind something happen, go go, cast him this time out, like for extend him life for parliament more. Yeah. Or something where him just make him country for lose him trust for prime minister here yeah. and uh, government blow him. So this decision for clamp down lo SIBC and take him away independent uh, editorial policy blow SIBC, him just add go on top more every wrong decision or it may make him for people not trust him. Yeah. So, as a result, by people start for no trust him more, news blow SIBC. Eh? Because by looking at SIBC, or same one for tool blow government no more now. Uh, him only tell him one him prime minister, him agree or approve him no more, and like him no more. By him no air him now, or get the views where him different from prime minister. Where maybe better than blow prime minister, but uh, him different, so prime minister no let him, because him now editor in chief, uh, as minister responsible. You may borrow a problem through now. Eh? So, but a problem so in a sense, you you looking at this one, him a threat to uh, uh, media freedom. Or oh, this one bar of a direct threat to media freedom. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that if we get newspaper, yeah, government him got him a little bit ownership, him him doing something like it. This is a prime minister who him no like him. Anyone got him different thing thing like him. 
for air and more thing thing eh. This is a prime minister where him he start to look as one for communist eh. Him like him thing thing blame no more. Everyone go worship the altar blame. Him he bow down everyone blame. But that's not how we build a country. That's not how we build a society, and especially a democratic society. We must be open to a plurality of views, uh, a diversity of views, because not a single one of us, Prime Minister and myself included, have the monopoly over um, opinions and truth. Lo, one mm, go go ahead inside country, blow you me. And so we must have the humility, must humble a little bit, and savvy that we don't always get it right, and therefore others will see. Uh, one M Duim, and they will have better views, and M Goodford air M views here. Um, this kind this is in him, look, I'm driven by fear, yeah? distrust, and paranoia. I'm paranoid, I mean, I'm for writing place, no anything, I'm shadow no more, but I'm for writing shadow blame saliva. Um, there really is no need to fear what SIBC is doing, and there is certainly no need to be paranoid about it. And so this whole decision, I mean, in my view, totally unnecessary and totally uncalled for and should be rescinded, revoked, and SIBC allowed to exercise him total control, independent control over its own editorial policy. Now, for achieving this one, um, Hemi remove him, uh, SIBC from SOE Act. SOE Act, Hemi State-Owned Enterprises Act where every um, authority, or some SIEA, SEMA, ports, Solomon Airlines, we're going to do commercial activity, but we're going to also do fulfill him national interest. So let me remove him from SOE Act. Now, this one, let me not good decision either, uh, because SOE Act, let me add them additional requirements for governance, decision making. Um, law every state-owned enterprises, as a result of which now a lot of our state-owned enterprises so would improve for good. Law performance law both decision-making, accountability and reporting to parliament, uh, and also profitability. Now him say these organizations should not exist for profit, which should exist to fulfill their social um, responsibilities. Well, I agree with that, but they do need to make some profit. If we get borrow outright for profit no more, then him borrow wrong. But we must make him a little bit profit so that they're not a drain on the budget, the government's budget. Uh, so removing SIBC from the State-Owned Enterprises Act, let me remove them now with the requirements here. Eh? Good governance requirements, lo, how board should be appointed, how the board should transact its business, how conflict of interests uh, are managed, um, and all that kind of something also. Because the SIBC Act itself is really a very, very small uh, piece of legislation no more. Uh, and him a little bit out of date. Um, and so SOE Act, him supplement him, him give him more, um, way more uh, guidance uh, and requirements for how for managing uh, SIBC better. So its removal from the SOE Act, I think, is a wrong decision and it's regrettable. But now we see why Ogata do him. Ogata do him because of fright him SIBC. Ogata do him because of like control him SIBC. Ogata do him because of like for control him what content of information now people by hear him. This one him start to hear also him Russia. Eh? Russia, if you even tell him no more name of Ukraine, Ogata told him you're person now. No any radio station, no any TV station must tell him name Ukraine. If you tell him Ukraine, you go to jail for 15 years. Him, you may start for Google or Roti and I. Him, same Roti. You have a paranoid leader uh, who is clamping down on freedom of speech, freedom of expression, uh, and him start to SIBC. By him, move, move more. Eh? If you may not stop him, eh? and we have to stop him. And the way to stop him is to appeal to his sense and to appeal to the sense of all the members around him, him in cabinet and in caucus, to tell him, hey, this one, you step out too far. Eh? This is the first time that SIBC has had this kind of decision taken against it. Um, and unfortunately, it is not a good first time decision. It is not a good precedent. It's just a terrible, uh, terrible decision. Me understanding, I think uh, government also thinking for 
start him on newspaper blog and uh, just share your view blue you think uh, it's a government policy for now him going to control the media uh, if we start him newspaper blog that one him all right but we must not control him SIBC and if we start him newspaper blog at him no newspaper no blog at him blog government of the people of Solomon Islands a government established by the constitution that for newspaper must not play politic block government of the day. That would be a red line. Or what cannot use taxpayer funds for financing that for newspaper, for advocate for political government here, or political prime minister here, or for propagating propaganda block here, advancing propaganda block here. That would be misuse, abuse of trust block people, and misuse and abuse of taxpayer uh, payer resources. Uh, for fi financing now the political objectives of political government. Going back to the statement about him, uh, um, talk to the Prime Minister of Parliament, that uh, um, SIBC is a little bit deviated from papers blame. Um, I think I mentioned that uh, uh, it's to unite the country. Yeah? Um, maybe not only SIBC, but uh, um, other media too, where um, um, Prime Minister always um, um, uh, share and also criticize him for dividing the country. Uh, you, you think that uh, this was a statement him uh, am accurate? No, me but I totally disagree with him. Actually, Prime Minister, no man cause him a lot of disunity inside this whole country. Me tell him, him two, three times finish the parliament, he needs to look in the mirror. He needs to listen to his own voice. He just needs to listen to his own heart. Heart blow him not cause him this unity. Eh? Even just the tone of his voice, him talk and him cross. You know, man, where him embracing people, eh? man, him for dividing people. You know, follow him, talk, talk, blow him. You know, believe him, talk, talk, blow him. You Satan, nah, you enemy, blow him. That's what's dividing this country. Um, so, for him, blame him on media. A hey, media report him number one in Italy. Media reporting one in me, tell him. What them others, community leaders, are tell him, church leaders, and tell him. That does not cause disunity. It's those people who say those things that causes unity, and that includes him. And so, him cannot blame in media. Media must continue for playing role blogger to independently report truthfully and fairly. That we must reiterate him. Media has to be. Uh, impartial, independent, um, and truthful in its reporting, and fair. That's one him very important. Um, but not the manner in which where Prime Minister like for just gagging media through SIBC now here, yeah, uh, for um, him depriving the right of citizens to receive um, information that has been freely uh, collected, assembled, um, and then issued. And so, by citizens, he has no more government, he has no more. He has no more. Government has no political objectives, and sometimes those political objectives are not in the best interest of citizens, of the national interest. And so, then you may get into a very dangerous downward spiral, this one. This is a democracy. And democracy depends on the people being properly informed so that they don't make them good decisions in electing leaders and holding them to account in between. It's bar of important to us. It depends on information, being informed. And the media now, that whole role. That role must not be distorted, retarded, must not be undermined, compromised by political interests, blow political government of the day. I think um, um, the current situation now you mean said, uh, what now alternative view blew? as opposition leader uh, uh, about in this uh, situation in SIBC inside? Well, um, my advice to the chairman or acting chairman of SIBC board and CEO and management team below Tufala is to seek written directive below Prime Minister, written instructions below him under law section 24. Yeah? I understand he's issued verbal directions through his officials but now to seek those in writing um, and then to 
go to court. In the meantime, that they continue to exercise independent um, editorial policy to make sure independence below SIBC Hemi remain intact, uh, to seek court for injuncting Prime Minister for stopping him from this fellow action on the basis that evidence Hemi or the reasons Hemi are not good enough under law section 24 to qualify for directions under law section 24 of the SIBC Act. Uh, and then to seek judicial review for court Hemi weigh in whether directions below Prime Minister him lawful or no more in a democracy. This one is very important. Government and Prime Minister must always act in the best interests of the nation, not just their own political interests, but best interests of the whole nation. And to do that, Olcott must build in trust for the people in their own government. Decisions and lack of decisions, decisions where we're not making, actions and lack of actions, actions where we're not taking, all of those together must be with the aim of developing, building trust, maintaining trust of people of Solomon Islands in their own government, in their own prime minister. When prime minister and government make them decisions, take them actions, um, where he erode him trust, government he may start for not serving in public interest. And so the people have a, uh, an inherent interest to hold government to account, to hold their members of parliament to account who are in government, enabling the prime minister to make these kinds of decisions. Very important to us. Or get something must all add up here. Yeah? Election time, you must hold him, member blue, him stop block inside government. Whether him support him or no more, him stop inside government, him support him now. Must hold them to account and must hold the government and prime minister to account. Um, I know, you know, time law election, but what man inside law party where run him government, or what resign, or what go independent for liar law people. Yeah. All this time, me independent now. Me no member law party where me make him more get a decision, yeah. but no more. People, no matter him resign, go law independent, or even him go law different party more, new one. Voters must hold them or get members where inside government, part law get decisions, actions where them happen here, to account. Accountability requires that vote him, reflect him now, whether people agree or no agree with him, one of these decisions government been may make him. So, in bar, very important to us. Honorable Leader, thank you too much for time, please. Um, but I find him not a time more for him to sit down and discuss him about another topics. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I'm going to inform you more on the next episode of Mifala, where I'm coming. Thank you.